It's Molly, it's Haley at Chicago Sports Radio 6-7 of the Scores. Zach Zabin sitting in, and you hear the chant. We've got Rocky Words in studio with us, the Blackhawks owner. And, and uh, again, a great time of year, a wonderful job all the way around by everybody connected to the Hawks. And certainly we're still very excited despite the disappointing loss there. It's just game one. We're not going to worry about that. Uh, Rocky, um, you know, you mentioned Dale Talon and the job he's done. We, we talked to Pierre Maguire. Uh, was it Pierre Maguire? Oh, Jacques, Jacques Demure, I'm sorry, last week. And he said that there's rumors going around that Dale Talon Talent could be in trouble. Uh, Dale has got a year left on his contract. Do, do you see him as a long-term architect of the Blackhawks? What, what are your thoughts on the job he's done? I mean, you know, Dale's Dale's been with the organization a long time, both you know in, in the front office and also in the broadcast booth. So, you know, you know, Dale is is going to be just fine. I mean, the the whole thing is is that you know let's get through Detroit and we'll worry about it. Dale's another year in his contract. All those issues, you know, are are worked out over time. I don't know. What's the toughest thing? Putting what you've put together to this point or now taking it to the next level, maintaining it, whichever phrase you want to use, to preserving what's been built? Well, that, that's where Stan Bowman has to come in, and, and he and, and Dale working together and the, and, and, and the rest of that organization. Um, that's what I'm saying. The off-ice side of it is so important because you have to realize who's coming up, how you develop these players, what what you know, what players we had drafted that we're going to turn pro, and 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 in this collective bargaining contract, you have a finite number that you have to work within that number. So you got to keep having young players come in at a lower number. Can you help fans understand uh, the relationship between Stan, Dale, and Scotty and how it works? Well, Scott, uh, Scotty is is just an, an overall advisor. Obviously, he talks to his son, but. But he, he will offer advice when asked, but he's not going to come in here and, and, and tread on anyone's territory. Stan, you know, really works the numbers, and he works very closely uh, with, with, with Dale. But, you know, Stan would be, you know, would be the one to, to really take this thing and come up and say, here's all the different scenarios, here are the players we have, here's what we have to do, and, and then, you know, work with, with Dale on that. But, but Stan's a nitty-gritty as, as far as you don't see him as much, you don't talk to him as much, but he is the brain trust behind Dale on this one. You know, it's it's fascinating stuff because we always talk about uh, the coach. The coach's responsibility is to win right now. Uh, the GM's responsibility is to protect the team from the coach. I mean, if the if the coach had his choice, he'd get anybody, go buy anybody, move as many guys in as you can. But you have to have a plan moving forward. You mentioned the two young players that you're going to have to pay. I mean, Chris Steeg at some point, well, you'll have to pay. Uh, we know you've got the two goalkeepers. I mean, you start looking at the business element of it, and it's almost like a, a puzzle that you have to be able to put together, especially in a cap. Well, that's exactly right, and 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 you get Boland coming up, you, you get Barker coming up, so you got a lot of different, got a lot of different moving parts, and then not knowing what that number is until you have the, the time that you have to to work. But the nice thing is, is every other team has to work within that number too. So it's not where you're going to have a George Steinbrenner come in and said, "I'm going to pay this uh, player 100 million dollars." They can't do that. So you got to work within the system. You got to develop younger players. We have players coming up from Rockford. I mean, just 60 miles from from the lake to, to Rockford way, and how that's worked so far. And when we're in Norfolk, there's no way to get from Norfolk to Chicago. <laughs> the nice thing about Rockford is you're just you're just down the street. You can have the same coaching. The coaches look at them. The trainers look at them. The doctors and the medical staff looks at them. It, when on days off, we go back and forth, and 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 really, it's not out of sight, out of mind. And that's what you're going to have. Plus, we have. We have a couple of players that we we turned pro this year that are going to have terrific years down there in in Akeem and and in, in Beach. So they they're going to be the the next stars coming into this this you know great young team. So that's the constant thing. What the fans need to know is we're going to draft very very well and we're going to develop those players and and they're going to you're going to see them and you're going to see them both in in Rockford and then you're going to be able to see them in, the, in Chicago. And, and you mentioned uh, Stan Bowman and we know. Uh, he's named after the Stanley Cup, uh, I, which I think is awesome. I, I, cup Bowman wouldn't work as well, but uh, but the Stanley Cup is the goal, and that's what everybody's waiting for, and that's what you're fighting for right now—a trip to that in the Western Conference. Do you feel it's going to happen? Do you feel like you've got some momentum with this thing? Do you, it, it, that's the goal, I know. I mean, that's the goal. I mean, the, the, the Detroit is the team to beat. I mean, there's a reason Detroit, and we saw it yesterday, is a Stanley Cup champion. They're a very, very fine, very skilled team. If you asked the question before, if there's if there's one model you'd follow, it would be Detroit. And what Detroit's done is they've had a consistent team 
for many years, both before the lockout and after the lockout. And that's because they have the system in place, and they take players, they, they draft them, they develop them, and they don't rush them, rush them to the big league too early. And that's what they've been able to do for many years. The economic times have been tough for them, but what they've done to build that hockey franchise in Detroit has been just terrific. He's Rocky Words. Rocky, uh, f congratulations on a, on a great year. Uh, hopefully there'll be further congratulations coming, but it's been it's been a lot of fun to watch. You're doing a great job. The fact that you come down here and come into studio with us to talk about it, too, trying to connect to the fans, I, I just think it's magnificent what you guys have done, and thank you very much for coming in. We well, appreciate well, it. Thank you for having me. Anything we can do to, to move the Blackhawks ahead to the next level, I'm, I'm right there for them. All right, that's Rocky Words. He's there for you. It's Molly, it's Hanley at Chicago Sports Radio, 670 to score.